Hey, it's John the Neck Guy, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Anycubic Cobra 3 Combo Kit. This is a full size 3D printer, but it also has an ACE. Well, what is that? Well, that's the Anycubic Multicolor Filament and enclosure for drying your filament system. This is the first time I've used any Anycubic printer. I've used some of their filaments, so I've heard a lot of really good things and I'm excited to check it out, so stick around. The box for this is 20 inches by 20 inches by 20 inches, so it's pretty large. Overall weight, 38.5 pounds for the shipping weight. The first tray on top here is gonna be the user manual, Looks like we have a USB key. Oh, got some screws. Oh, there's a lot of tools in here already, okay. So there's a four pin cable. There is the print head itself. So it looks like there is some assembly required definitely on this machine, more than say your A1 Mini back there. Looks like this is gonna be a process. Standard PC power cable. Another PC power cable. This looks to be a digital display of some kind, so the touchscreen display. Got a filament spool here, and spool arm, and lastly, the poop chute. <laughs> looks like the filament uh, cutter and uh, filament system there. So this is gonna have all your filament, and this serves as a filament dryer as well as a filament holder for up to four different spools of filament. I see the build plate. So the rest of the machine is generally set up exactly how you're gonna use it. So that's good. You don't have a ton of work after getting it out of the box. Overall, printer itself is not too large and not too heavy. So the first thing it says is press the print head cable, orange type C long cable. I think I saw it over here. Down and insert into the slot above the print head. Install the print head from the back of the printer. Use the number two bag screws to secure the print head by turning it clockwise in the position shown in the figure. So now that I have that, I can actually set it over. So I took the print head, I put two of the screws in, and then I'm actually lining it so I can just set the print head on there. Now this is the touch screen. I'm guessing it mounts like this. So we need to have the cable in the this side up orientation. I'm just gonna latch it here. Now it does look like this screen is adjustable for angle, there we go. So I'm gonna have all the way up. I'm gonna put the this side up here that you can see hopefully. So I'm gonna connect the this side up cable to that connection right there. This is the X axis. We can bring it up and plug the motor in I'm looking up here and it faces forward. So we have a purge wiper here. We're gonna slide it from the back to the front into the groove on the rear side of the X axis. So we're gonna install the standard filament tube, but this would also work if you didn't buy it with the multiple filaments. Insert one end of the short filament tube into the hole above the print head and the other end into the cable holder. So the cable holder on this side, push that down until it stops. Now it doesn't matter technically which port of the holes on the top here that you choose because all of them go down into the same location. So I'm gonna pick that one and it's not going anywhere. Okay, so that is installed. So we are gonna install the spool holder by screwing this on and locking it, which it did just by hand. And this is gonna fit opposite side of the screen. It's gonna fit on this back corner the hexagonal nut is behind the wheel. When they say behind, they actually mean in front of, uh, towards the front of the printer. But we would normally, if there was any shake to this, we would come in below and we could tighten this hexagonal nut. So let's get a power cable and we'll plug this in for the very first time and we'll see what's on the screen. So another important thing that they didn't mention is to make sure that the power supply is in the right configuration. On the back side of the unit, there is a knob to switch between 240 and 115. It's set to 115. I'll show you a close up of that. And it is just starting up now for the very first time. The touchscreen seems to be very responsive. I worry a little bit about scratching it though, because it looks like it's got that plastic covering on it. So I gotta be really careful <laughs> when I do that. 
I could see maybe getting a screen protector for it if I'm gonna be doing a lot of printing. Wi-Fi is confirmed. I'm gonna go ahead and install, as requested, the USB here. So USB ports are covered, but I'm gonna go ahead and plug this one in. For doing long 3D printing jobs with multiple items, this could be a really cool printer. I also like the idea of color printing, printing in multiple colors. So that's where the Ace is Pro is gonna come in. It'll help me out when it comes to not having to switch filaments and making the prints a lot easier. Now, overall noise volume of the printer, it does make a little bit more clacking and banging around as the larger build plate moves. Uh, the print head is definitely much bigger than something like the A1 overall in size. Uh, we'll see what that comes down to in weight and how quickly this thing prints. I'm about ready to open up its PLA and we'll go ahead and use it. I like to use the PLA that it comes with for the initial test Benchy print just because it's always nice to see what they're providing uh, because you would hope that they would provide a consistent experience. They almost always seem to provide white. We got a lot of white Benchies around. Okay, this spool was very tightly wound. I'm worried a little bit that it might bind up, so I'm trying to loosely slinky this into position because we're gonna have to put this on that much smaller spool holder. The UI is uh, fairly responsive. You can see it count digit by digit as it's heating. It's also keeping that up in the app as well. Speed Benchy, 15 minutes. This could be a record. So it's preheating the print bed and this is a 15 minute Benchy. Hopefully it's the exact same size. I have another Benchy back here that we can verify against. That would be cheating if it's smaller or has uh, less height. But a 15 minute would be a record Benchy in this house. And this was already printing. So we'll see. Looks like the bottom's gonna be missing a few rows, but uh, it is printing at 255. So this is very hot. You know, it's interesting. The way the nozzle works on this, it's actually possible to see it from the edge once it gets a little bit higher than your normal print height. Before then, it is really hard to see the progress of it compared to some other brands, but now I can see what it's printing pretty easily. And it's working pretty fast on those verticals considering it's at 255 Celsius. So far, so good. It is at 80% complete now. We're 80% complete with our 15 minute Benchy. Uh, sound hasn't been bad uh, other than vibration, which is a constant issue here with this. Uh, the sound volume levels look good. The print so far looks good. There's a little bit of lining going on on the side here compared to a, you know, another Benchy, but there are some on this one as well. We're just about to the final smokestack and that's always gonna be troublesome these kind of printers that have to cool off the filament while it prints there it's going putting that final smokestack out on the 15 minute benchy and there it is a 15 minute complete benchy by comparison which benchy was made in 15 minutes can you tell so let's take a closer look at the benchy that it printed in less than 50 minutes. It says 14 minutes there. Overall, very minimal stringing. There's a little tiny bit, but at 255 Celsius, that's a lot. There's a little extra piece maybe right here that we don't have on the traditional Benchy. So here's the one to the left. This is a standard height. Quality is very similar. This one you could tell was, was going for speed here, but there's a little extra piece of filament that looks like it's stuck out here at the top. And I'm not sure where that came from. Plus, my machine's over here oozing right now. You can see the line of filament uh, didn't quite get it all out there at that speed. Um, but overall, if you need to print something fast for a mock-up, this could absolutely do it. There's a little bit right here. It's gonna be really hard to see but there's a little bit of streaking here right in the beginning. And then in the beginning, when this was printing out, it missed quite a bit of material on this corner just because it hadn't loaded the filament completely. 
but surprisingly cool. Uh, very nice. I don't know if I could tell the difference on these if I didn't have the mark on the bottom here uh, in a little while. So this has been John the Net Guy, and this is the Anycubic Cobra 3 with a 15 minute Benchy print. Overall, pretty impressed with the machine. There's a couple things that I like, a couple things that they can improve upon. Uh, don't like the off access viewing of the screen. I do worry a little bit that this screen could also get scratched. It has that light plastic feel on the front now that I've removed the screen protector for that. So I'm gonna wanna print a cover or some ac accessory for that. Uh, assembly of the machine could be a little bit easier. Maybe not for a first timer that's never done any 3D printing. Uh, if you follow the instructions in a video, most likely you could get away with it. But there are some terms and there are some steps that you have to do that you may not be used to. Uh, machines quality, you know, the parts all seem to look really nice. It does seem to work without any excessive noise, especially when it's working at high speed. The fan, it's got a standard power supply fan, and so maybe a little bit quieter than my Ender 3. So if you're coming from an Ender 3, you're gonna get a larger print bed, you're gonna get hotter temperatures, and you're gonna get a faster printing machine with that vibration compensation. So definitely a generational improvement. I'm gonna do some more research on this, but keep subscribed to my channel here for future videos about the Anycubic Cobra 3 combo. Thanks for watching.